One thing that I have always loved doing in Call of the Wild is goose hunting, but every once in a while the geese get so broken to where they're unhuntable. Well, I heard that they're unhuntable, but we're going to go out there today and see if that's true. So as we're heading out here, we just spotted a really decent boar feeding out there at about 270 yards, and luckily for us, we have the 303 bolt action rifle on us. So we're going to see if we can't just snipe this boar out there at about 315. Smoked him. And he's going down. That was pretty cool. Imagine going goose hunting and you're able to take down a big wild boar right next to you. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. All right, so here's our nice boar that we got in the very beginning. Took him at 289 yards, got a nice double long shoulder base shot and an 85 scoring wild boar. All right, well, I couldn't find the goose, but I jumped up another boar. I'm out of breath, I'm out of breath. Might be out of breath, but we just smoked him. Quartering away, running at about 115 yards out. Nonetheless, here's our boar down and pulled off a nice quartering away liver shot at 108 yards. Ooh, what do we got out there? We got a red fox out there, 130 yards out. And guess what we have for him? We have the 223 baby. So yeah, he is a gold potential fox. So we want to try and make sure we make a really good shot on him. But we also got to wait until he slows down. There we go. There we go. We got to hold for the spine because he's probably about 180 out there. And we're going to have a little bit of drop. Are you really not going to slow down? Seriously, Fox. That's what I thought, baby. Straight to the back of the neck. Get down. The Fox thought he could outsmart me. Well, guess what? He was wrong. And that is what the Fox said right there back of the next shot 212 yards out and he just wasn't quite big enough wait a second we got geese coming here a nice flock of them and even if they did spook we can still take a pretty far shot because we're sitting here with the 10 gauge fully loaded Ooh, a big ol' four. That's a big goose. They're circling. They're circling. I think they're broke, guys. Oh, they're in range. They're definitely in range. There you go! Reload, reload! Okay, they might have been a tad bit too high. But, uh... Yeah, they're a tad bit too high. Either way, we definitely got three of them. So keep an eye on those geese. That goose is going down, and that one right there, of course, is going to be the biggest one, which we did not even get. Well, I mean, overall, we did get 100% shooting there, so I can't complain too much about that. Now, if I can figure out how the heck to get out of here. There we go. We can go over here and start picking up some of these geese. We got one down right here. This is the first one that we shot. I don't know if it was a male or a female, but I think it was kind of like the gray colored one. Yeah, it was a gray colored one, a brown hybrid female. We took her at 54 yards out, so she was definitely borderline in range. But the only thing is the rest of them were all about 60 by the time we started shooting. So that's why they soared quite a ways out there. But nonetheless, pretty decent shot for a 54 yard shot and the 10 gauge. All right, we happen to find one of the geese laying right here, and it's going to be another female. We took her at 77 yards out, two BBs right to the back of the wing there as she was flying away. Now, we took down another one as well, 
but I'm not exactly sure where that one went. I would imagine it would go too much further than this one, though. All right, here we go. We got another big flock coming right in. This time, it looks like they're coming in almost perfectly right over the top of our decoys, guys. All right, so it looks like the front four are starting to get pretty low here. And any minute now, they should start swinging hard. Come on. Come on. Swing, 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 swing. All right, well, when this happens, unfortunately, the only thing we can really do is a little bit of improvisation. And just hope that we don't absolutely smoke a dying potential goose. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that they're still huntable. I mean, we just took down three of them right there and three before, so that makes six. All right, guys, we got more geese coming in already. It looks like we got a three out there and a bunch of females, another three as well, but let's see if we can't get these to come into range. Something tells me that they're probably not going to come into range. But, that's all right. That is totally all right with me. Well, we missed twice and we hit four times. So that means we got four geese down. We got another big flock of geese, but they're way the heck out there. Just smoking them. Oh, tell you what, let's zero in for 300 here. Oh, doubled up, baby. 300 plus yards on those shots there. How far was that? Uh, did I say 300? That's 400 yards. We just took down those two geese. We took down another one over here at about 320. But by the time those ones got over there, we're looking at over 400 yards. All right, so we got a lot of geese to go pick up and not a ton of time to do it. So let's make like a hedgehog and get the heck over there. Oh, we got a bunch of geese right on top of us guys here. And uh, I don't exactly think we could hit them with a 10 gauge, but we're about to find out. We're definitely about to find out. We got, we got him. We got three hits into him. So if I can hit one more time into this goose here, it should take it down. Got it. All right. So one goose. Oh, two more going down right here. Oh, we hit him. We hit him. Come on. One more, one more, one more. So we're over here trying to find the geese that we shot at like 400 yards away. And uh, we jumped up a couple more geese. Oh, those geese are going to land. So here's the goose that we just shot right now, I believe. Hit it two times out of the sky, 85 yards out, 11 hits into that thing. So with this 10 gauge, we definitely have a super full choke. And then this goose over here soared off, and I think he actually went down in these trees here, because I saw him kind of fluttering downwards. All right, well, we definitely soared it over here somewhere, but... uh. Can't exactly find it. I'm hearing a bunch of geese flying all around us here. So I'm thinking we might have jumped some more geese up, but... I don't see them just yet. Where in the heck are these geese at? It's not... Oh, right there! Oh, perfect! Oh, perfect! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! This is so perfect! This is so perfect! Look at them come! Oh, my God! Come on, come on! Reload, reload, reload! Get it up! Shoot, 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 shoot! No, no, shoot! Shoot! Dude, shoot! <laughs> oh, man. He took so long to reload, and then he won't pull up. Oh, that was epic, though. I've had that happen in real life where you're sitting on the edge of the tree line like this, and the geese actually, because it's raining, they want to come low to the ground and land. So, yeah, basically what happens is when it rains, they fly lower to the ground, and a lot of times they'll fly right over the tops of the trees. So, uh, depending on how tall the trees are, you're looking at somewhere around like 30 to 40 yards out. And if you got full chokes in and a 12 gauge or even a 10 gauge, I mean, you can do really well on geese. 
and I've seen it happen many times in real life. It is awesome. That moment right there is awesome. But here's another goose down, another brown hybrid. It's a female as well. 25 yards out, 25 yards. See what I'm talking about? Those geese were so low to the ground that we were getting 25 yard shots on those geese. And we got another goose down over here. And uh, we definitely sort another one out there. I know we hit it once, which I believe it should take it down. Oh baby, a giant goose, a huge level four at 34 yards out, a 7.8 gold brown hybrid. We're definitely getting him mounted right there. That is awesome, a gold brown hybrid with a 10 gauge. All right, guys, we got a big flock of geese coming right over these trees here. And our goal is to try and get to these trees before they break. Oh, they're going to be pretty far, but we're maybe going to have a chance. We might get this, guys. We might get this. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. It's going to be close. It's going to be really, really close. All we got to do is get a couple of hits into them. Remember that, guys. Remember that. Uh, that's probably like 90 yards out right there. Yes! 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 We got a double! We got a double! We did it! We pulled it off! I don't know how we did it, but we definitely pulled it off. And we got a double. But we did pull it off. And we got a double. As in, we hit one twice. And we hit another one solely by itself. So we should have two geese down. Not only that, one of these geese were giant. It was a huge level four. And it was actually almost close to a dime potential. All right, we got one of them down right here. Let's have a look at this one, guys. Hopefully, we got the big four. And we did! We got him! We got him! We took a 92-yard shot the first time, hit him three times, and then we took another shot at 97 yards, hit him three times again, and we got a 7.2 gold gray-brown Canadian goose. All right, here's one of the geese right here, and it's going to be a level three. That's Oh, that's that three that we shot in the wing at 200 yards out. I told you we got that one. He just soared quite a ways is all. Pretty nice one, 7.10. Look at the stack of geese we got piled up here, guys. Look at all of them. One, two, three, four geese stacked up, all within about 10 feet apart. All right, so let's pick this one up. And that is going to be a 300-yard shot, 5.4 female there. And we got this one down here, a 296-yard shot, liver right lung shot, 4.7 on that one there. And then we got two more down over here as well. 5.7 and a 300-yard shot and a six-scoring male. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We're going to have to end it with that. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? A Texas heart shot at 305 yards with a 303 bolt action rifle. A Texas heart shot on a goose flying away at 300 yards. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Texas heart shot, baby.